So we got four days to the grand unveiling of this defense. How are you feeling about it? Uh, the guys are excited. They've been running around. I think everybody's kind of, everybody wants to get out there and try to and go play. How are you feeling about it? Though? We're, we're going out there. I'm excited. Anybody's excited. When you're involved with this, anybody's excited. We're, just, we're looking for the guys to go out there, let them go play, see what they can do when it's actual game time. What have you seen in camp as far as their ability to be the defense that you want them to be? What have I seen? Um, I've seen a team play with great energy. I've seen them work hard. I've seen them pay attention to detail. Uh, so again, but when, we, when all of a sudden the ball gets kicked off, then we'll find out what guys do at during game time. And it's the biggest thing. You've had spring and fall to analyze uh, this entire defense. Uh, anybody stand out? Anybody? Uh, uh, That's what the game's for. That's what the game's for. We'll, you know, everybody, you have great practice players. You need great game players. So that's what we're looking to find out what, who's going who's gonna to show up when the lights go on. We, we've seen, uh, or we've heard a lot about Latu's uh, good camp, uh, but then he wasn't listed on the two deep. Is that just a reflection of how, how many people you've got on this defense? Uh, uh, I, I think, again, like as we going into the game, as everybody's saying, hey, it's going to be a hot day. We're going to play a lot of people. You know? And then again, it'll sort itself out. You know, guys, guys will find their, their spots, but we'll, we'll have people in the game. We'll, we'll be putting people in, taking people out, and we're just going to let guys go play. What let, their, the, let their actions do their talking. Uh, what about the, uh, the ability to generate a pass rush? Uh, what, 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 have you, what do you think about? I know, you know we'll see Saturday, but are, are you feeling good about it? I would, I would like, if I don't feel good now, I'm never going to feel good. It's going to be a long week. Uh, but uh, no, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm excited because of the energy level the guys have brought, the way they've worked, the way they've tried to develop their techniques and fundamentals through the preseason and everything else. So you, all of us as coaches in particular are anxious to kind of see the players get out there and kind of execute. I keep hearing about your, your sense of humor from the guys. How would you kind of describe your sense of humor? Lacking. <laughs> <laughs> well, they think you're funny. So. No, uh, I don't know if my family thinks that. But, uh, <laughs> listen, I, it's one of those things. These guys are working hard. There's t there's times you, you got to get after somebody, and there's times you got to get on them, and then there's times you also got to keep it, you know, where you know, keep working, keep working hard. Guys make mistakes. We'll come back and we'll make we'll play the next play. And is that line different at the college level than at the NFL level? Do you have to be more nurturing at this level? Well, I, I think it's one of those things where it's it's a relationship sport, you know, and you've, you've got everybody's different. Everybody learns differently. Everybody uh, reacts differently to different kinds of feedback. So it's getting to know your players and just trying to get them to talk to them and get them to understand what, what you want and how you want it and the, and the sense of urgency you want it with. How well do you feel like you know them at this point? Again, everything has it's been good. The guys have been working hard. I love their, their effort. I love their commitment to what we were asking them to do but it's going to you know it comes down to game day now and now and that's good that's the fun part for them and for us that they're going to go out and try to play given Just, that it is uh, early in the season uh how much do you plan to i guess unleash in, in game one and how much of it's going to be more vanilla well it, it's more kind of see what what's going on you know what they're giving us they're a well-coached team um you know they, they're a team that's you know, had success. They're, they're very pro style, more of an offense. So they're they're going to give you a lot of things to contend with, and so it, it'll be a good challenge for us and a good uh, good adjust, good for us to see be out on the field and competing with them. You also have to battle against the elements with a potential 102 degree weather. Um, do you are are you finding that you're going to possibly have to cycle in more players? Well, I th I think at any time when you're playing with at 102, you got to have guys come in, and you can't just go with one group. So people are gonna on both sides of the ball, them and us. We're all gonna be exchanging, you know, putting people in, keeping guys fresh, because otherwise you guys will, will kind of fade away a little bit. Uh, Matt McDonald seems like he's kind of the drives the engine for that yeah. offense. What have you seen in him, and how do you have to contain him? He's obviously very experienced, very uh, capable. Right, that's great points. Because again, he's the guy we kind of say like he's he's the guy who makes him go. He, he's they've got skill players who can create big plays. Um, uh, in the wideouts at the running backs, and even got big tight ends with the run game a little bit. And then, but uh, McDonald makes him go. He, he's the guy. He's good in the pocket. When he gets out of the pocket, he can create things. So it's one of those things trying to contain him and keep him within, you know, within the pocket, and try to make him beat all eleven rather than just one guy. John John Bonds is like pretty strong, and athletic out here. He's listed as a starter on the two D. 
Uh, what have you seen from him through fall camp, and what do you expect going into the season? I, I think uh, the big thing I mentioned to him the other day was great. He, he's been practicing, obviously, here. and. It, he was playing baseball. He hadn't been with us in the spring or anything like that. So his ability coming back, and then he's just getting a little more comfortable in terms of his movements, his understanding of the schemes and stuff like that. So it's been great to see that the last couple, last week or two. You really kind of see him starting to progress a little bit further and feel more comfortable out there within the scheme. Have you coached a dual sport guy like him before in your previous stops, or is he kind of a unique guy for you? Well, they're, they're unique for sure nowadays in college athletics. You don't get a lot of to the sport guys. Have I coached him? Yes, but he's unique, you know, so we're excited to have him. What are you seeing from uh, Darius Moselle? Obviously, he's new to this uh, defense, but he's experienced uh, with the time at Hawaii. Uh, what, do you, what do you see from him? Well, we're looking for his leadership. Again, he's kind of been running at the mic. He's, he's been doing a nice job in terms of controlling and getting us lined up, getting us set ready to play. And again, we're looking for seeing him go out there. He's a very instinctual player. I think you'll find him around the ball a lot. Thank you, Coach. Thank right. you. Thank Appreciate you, guys. Appreciate you. Thank guys. Thank you. All right.